Hello guys, in the last video we already finished the look of the contact form and when we click the send message we receive some signal from other PHP file. Today we will make some basic validation. So if I click the send message, it's supposed to have some error. So there is object. And we can see in the console log here that we return an object with the message and the signal like we plan to. So, of course, uh, the response doesn't bring any message because if we want to retrieve the message error, we need to say response error, like we say response signal here. So now it says Please fill in all the required fields. Maybe this is not the right color. I should use Denture so it will return a nice red one. Okay, so now if we fill in all the fields, and we can see that the signal is okay and the message is form submitted. So next thing to do is to validate the email. I think PHP has a filter. So it will check if the email is a valid email address. We just copy and paste this one. So after we check that all the field is not empty, then we continue checking the email. So if the email is valid, we like to send a OK signal.
and let's say invalid email and the signal can't be okay okay let's try again so oh it's a error of course what is the error so when it says error occurs it means there is something to do with the delivery of the information so it is error here so you see now the different in the error message will help us identify which error part it comes from so it doesn't even receive the response yes i miss here semicolon let's try again yes now it says invalid email please check how if i change the email to be a valid one click send message so it says now from submitted that means it accepts the input from the users cool okay i think that's all for this video next time we will continue with the php email and also the last part of this series thank you for watching and see you next time